I'm so happy to welcome all of you to Bankraiser Hall. We're very fortunate to have this beautiful day. We'd just like to first start by holding up a pair of bolt cutters. You've probably heard the expression baton race. Well, this has been at times a marathon and for sure it's been a baton race. We're gonna pass the baton symbolically from speaker to speaker today, representing the decades of team effort that has created Van Gracial Hall, as well as this opportunity to provide conversion of this building into affordable housing. As we mark the beginning of this important work, let us lift our hearts and minds and spirits in prayer. Here we stand between the majesty of the mountains to the west and the bounty of the plains to the east. Today, we ask you, Holy Spirit, to guide and strengthen all who will labor here to prepare Pancratia Hall to be home for many who will live, work, play, and learn here. I lived here for four years, and it delights me to know that it will continue to be living quarters for some blessed people. So today, I give thanks for what has been, and I say yes to what will be. Thank you. Since 1998, We've raised over $11 billion in affordable housing dollars to invest. We expect to raise another 730 million this year, and this is a business that COVID can't stop. Affordable housing is so important, and we'll continue to find ways to deploy that. Anyone who has worked with Jim and Susan know that they are tireless, and they redefined the meaning of work ethic. So thank you for teaching me that and showing me that. There is no place in Southwest Denver that is more meaningful to the people here in the community here than the land on which we're standing. One of the most beautiful things that they're doing is they're giving rebirth to this building in a way that honors the legacy of the, and the spirit of Loretto, working families. This is not gonna be million dollar condos, folks. This is going to be housing for orderlies who work at Swedish, for first and second year teachers, for, for waiters and cooks in the service industry. This is what Southwest Denver is about. We need affordable housing. This city has grown by 30% uh, in the last 10 years and continues to grow even in the midst of this COVID uh, pandemic that we're experiencing. Commitment to affordable housing is something that we as a city will have to be uh, dedicated to for the foreseeable future because we have to make this a city that is a city that welcomes diversity and nothing says inclusion more than saying there is a place for you no matter where you are on the economic scale in this city. There are those whose souls we may never meet, but they're counting on us to fill the gap, to provide affordable housing, to yes, care for our homeless and the widows and those who find themselves looking in wondering who will speak for me. And so I'm proud to be a part of a city that will always raise his hand and say, I will speak for you. Thank you to all the partners and thank you for this wonderful project that opens up 72 affordable housing units for the most vulnerable in our city. Let's open it up. Three, two, one. Yeah! 